CDZA presents our wedding song. I'm Mike. I'm Francis. Uh, we can't dance together. We're both good dancers, but we cannot dance together because we don't concentrate on dancing. <laughs> yeah, we get too close together, let's put it that way. That music really spoke to you. It, it was just popular. I still don't know the answer to his question, which is, why did you ask me to get married? And I don't know. I asked her again today. I've been asking her for 70 years. It was the greatest thing that ever happened. I mean, I, I can't describe how wonderful I felt at that time. I was kind of in days. And 70 years later, I'm still in days. She's a wonderful <laughs> woman. She takes marvelous care of me, much better than I deserve. Okay, that's enough. For all his faults, and you don't have time for me to list all his faults, I love him. And I don't think that I could live without him. The older we get and the longer we've been married, the more I realize how much I depend on him, how much I really care for him. I think she's a witch. <laughs> I can't see that well. She can't see that well, but we spot each other a block and a half away. There's something about her that just gets to me. We're part of each other. I still don't know why she married me but it was the greatest thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> I'm Peter. I'm Kenneth. What about that song? <laughs> it's us. <laughs> it's always been, it's always been it's very dear to me, that song. Fifty-seven years, never fought once. <laughs> it's been a, a wonderful experience, a wonderful experience. We respect love to begin with. We also share interests in theater, in music, uh, in people. The word gay didn't exist in those days. Uh, we were just a couple of guys that lived together and loved together and nobody paid any attention to it. We've never had a conflict of any kind socially. It never occurred to us that we were defying any norm. Everybody just accepted us, never, no questions asked. We were very lucky, I guess. And we've had such a great life together. We've had a great life together. I thought he was very nice looking, very, very kind, very funny. And that's why I love him, because I could always depend upon a lot. I love the way she was built. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> She was very mature for her age, so I dated her 
I was 14. I was uh, six years old. I was 20. 14 year olds were not for me. <laughs> Give us a shot. And on our first date, when she said she had to get home by 11 o'clock, I said, why? And when she said to do her homework, that was her last day till after the war. When I got out, the address book was empty except for her name. So I started dating her again. She was old enough. To... I was engaged. Four and times. He called. Well, four times. I couldn't say no. Her had the convertible. So guess who I ended up with? <laughs> I accepted it. Go with what you got. And, oh, and I fell in love. With the car. With the car. <laughs> Yeah, we really had a we very had a nice, full life. Nice life. I don't know why it succumbs to her charms. <laughs> and most of all, let there be love. Let there be love. I was married, my wife died, and they had another companion, and I thought that would be forever, and she got Alzheimer's, and uh, I looked around for like a year, and you know, not having someone that you've been doing it for like 60 years, but I couldn't find anybody. We met online. We um, both joined J-Date, <laughs> and uh, I went out with 463 women. Oh, you did not. Okay, about three. At this point in my life, I was looking for someone who was active and alert. And he's all of that. You know, I'm going to be 84 next week. And uh, some of the people these ages, you know, they don't want to move. He had to move. Got to move. We met, you know, we uh, got together and it clicked right away. Absolutely clicked. We just had fun. We've both been widowed and, and, uh, we know what we are going to do and where we're going to go. I told Cy when I met him, I said, it's got to last at least 10 years. That's it. After that, you can do whatever you want. Oh, OK. It's a long time from here to December, and the days grow short as you reach September. September stars. Yeah. It's us. You know, uh, it's, this, is, this is the end of the road, and we don't have time for the dating game. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we're going to do it for the, whatever we got left. Right. And that's what the song says. We feel very fortunate that we could still find somebody we could relate to and have a good time. These precious days I'll spend with you. The moon may be high, but I can't see a thing in the sky. So just click to subscribe right now. I don't know if we're in the garden. Then where are we? Or on a crowded avenue. You are here, so am I. Maybe millions of people go by. But they all disappear from you. So just click to subscribe right now.